welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to install Windows 3.1 onto this Android tablet. Why? Well, it just seemed like an interesting thing to do. Right, so here we are on my uh, Android desktop. I can whiz it back and forth, it's very exciting. And the first thing I'm going to do so I can run Windows 3.1 on this tablet is to install a DOS emulator called DOSBox. So I'm going to go to the Play Store, and in the Play Store I will search for a DOSBox, so it's even had a little search for me. Isn't Google helpful finding what we want most of the time anyway? And you'll see there's various versions of DOSBox available for Android. I'm going to use a free box, which is a version from Fish Sticks, there is a paid version as well, but this version seems to work well enough for what we need to do, so I'll press install on that. And of course accept the terms of installation and what it needs to access, that type of thing. And uh, there we are, it's installed, and we'll open up the app. And here we are in a DOS emulator for Android. I find that very strange, seeing a very, very old operating system like this running on Android tablet. Now of course DOS is text-based, so we need to have a keyboard here, and so if I flick down at the top of the screen, I haven't got a physical keyboard on this Android tablet, but I can press keyboard there, and the keyboard comes up, and that'll work perfectly well. The only problem with this is, of course, you can't quite see what's going on on the bottom half of the screen. I could do a, a CLS to clear the screen there, I guess, and then I could actually do a directory and you'd see what's going on, but um, it would be easier if I could see the whole screen. So what I'm going to do is to use some of the settings in, in DOSBox here. So I'll use the settings icon in the top right here, activate that, and we'll go down a bit, and we'll go to screen scaling. I'm going to set a screen scale factor of 53, very precise number, but I know it'll work. And a scaled screen location is going to be top. So with those in place, I will just snip back again, and you'll see now we've got DOS as a window running at the top of our screen, and the keyboard will fit nicely below that, and hopefully we can convince the bar to disappear at the top of the screen. So we've got here a virtual C drive, which is uh, full of files. Where is that virtual C drive, you may reasonably ask? Well, if we go back to our Android desktop, I can click on My Files, and if we go to Device Storage, and we go to Download, this is what DOSBox has mapped as its virtual C drive. So all the files sitting in download are actually sitting effectively in C as far as DOS is concerned. Now, as you might have noticed, I've already put a directory here, if I call it DOSWin, and inside DOSWin, I've put various files, including the files for a WordPerfect 5.1, very old uh, DOS-based word processor. So if I go back to uh, DOSBox, I could actually get the keyboard back, and I could change my directory to dos underscore win. And uh, there we are for directory that. You can see those files we just saw in a slightly different presentation. And I could change to a CDWP 5.1, WordPerfect 5.1. Used to be the world's most popular word processor. And if I type WP there, it'll run in this emulation of DOS. I find that amazing. Yes, it looks rather rather dull. That's how word processors used to look when you weren't doing things. To actually load in files, I'd actually have to press F5 on the keyboard. To do that in DOSBox, I'll uh, stroke down the menu at the top again, press the icon there, and I can actually press the F5 key virtually, and then enter, and it'll show me a list of files. For people of a certain age, this will be very familiar. Let's load in, say, that file there, retrieve, and we've got a a word processing document, a multi-column document look of, of notes I made years and years ago running here in the uh, WordPerfect word processor. But this proves you can run DOS programs very easily in DOSBox, that's what it's for. You could also run things like old DOS games. And I'll just uh, get out of that by pressing the uh, virtual F7 key, save document no, exit yes, and there we are. We're back to our DOS directory. And I'm going to CD out of that again, remind us where we are. And you'll see in here, I've also got a directory called WinFiles. Now, just to tell you a little bit about WinFiles, if I look at it in um, the file manager for uh, Android, 
In here, WinFiles contains all the files you need to install Windows 3.1. Where did those files come from, you ask? Where did all these files come from you need to install Windows 3.1? Well, if you watched my previous video on, on the Raspberry Pi running Windows 3.1, you might remember I got out my old Windows 3.1 disks, put them in an old PC, copied all the files to a USB drive, and this is where all these files have come from. These have been copied from a legitimate copy of Windows 3.1. Now, I'm sure if you go out on the internet, you can find a link to download these files. And there must be many copies of Windows 3.1 out there on the internet. I wouldn't possibly know where they were. Please don't ask me for a link because I'm making sure I'm being absolutely squeaky clean niggly here. But uh, I'm sure you can find them if you have a look around. Anyway, I'll go back to uh, our DOSBox emulator. Once again, bring the keyboard back. And in DOSWin, I will change my directory to WinFiles like that, and I will type setup to install Windows. And it'll start, welcome to setup, marvellous. Enter to continue, I think we'll do a standard setup, it's only a test on an Android tablet after all, probably won't survive the afternoon. And there we are installing Windows. My name is gonna be Chris, and yes, it's true. Do we have a printer attached? I don't think we do, so we'll ignore that. And there we are, Windows is running on Android. Oh, it's trying to sort out a couple of extra things. Um, it's trying to map a few applications, I think. Might have a bit of trouble with that. Don't really care. I want to uh, skip a tutorial, I think. I'll just go down like that. And uh, I think we have to restart just to make sure everything is running properly. Now, mouse control here is not perfect. I'm controlling the mouse using my, my finger, as you would guess, on the touch screen. It works, but not brilliantly. Anyway, there we are, it's come back again now. We've got Windows running very nicely, I think, on the, our Android tablet. Uh, you can't do a great deal with it because of the, uh, the nature of the, um, the mouse control. And I've tried various settings, but it does, it proves a point. Shall we just go into the control panel? Uh, we can. Shall we make the screen a bit bigger a second so you can see things more clearly? Just remember, go back into the DOS box settings and I'll go down again to uh, Screen scale factor, put it to 100 and out of that, and it now fills the screen. And hopefully, I can still control with my mouse. So it is down there. Very, very strange that the mouse isn't exactly where I think it is. But let's go into, a, let's try and go and get a desktop. And uh, here we are. Let's put, a, let's put a wallpaper on the screen. We could do all sorts of things in Windows 3, Windows 3.1 or 3.11 as it became. Let's do, I don't know. Arches, what was arches? Let's do okay on that. Oh, look, that's exciting, isn't it? And I think we should test out the um, screen savers. Oh, do you remember flying windows? That was exciting. Let's do setup of flying windows. And let's make it, oh, let's make it fast, at least as fast as it can be. Come on, keyboard, respond to me. I want to go faster. There we are. And uh, okay on that. And if we test flying windows, Oh look, flying windows. This is the sort of excitement you used to look at uh, when you were sitting, looking at your PC at work when you weren't doing any work. It used to be, um, that is all you had. These days you can go to Facebook, but this is, this is if you like the old fashioned equivalent of Facebook. So there we are, that is Windows 3.1.1 running to some extent on, a, uh, on an Android tablet. Doesn't run brilliantly, but it does, does run. I can probably get out of it as well if I'm really, really lucky. Exit Windows, yes, we'll end up Windows session, we will indeed. And the final thing I'll show you is if you wanted to start this all up again from scratch, let's just uh, close down that, let's, let's close on everything, keep tip tidy. How would we get back into that? Well, we go into apps, you can see free DOSBox is sitting here. So if I was back on my home screen, I'd go into my app screen there, I could run up DOSBox. There it is, look, I'd have to go back and do my screen scaling and stuff, but uh, to show you straight away now here, I'll just do a CLS to clear the screen so we can see what's going on. And if I did a CD Windows, and then I typed Win, from there, it would get us back into a Windows 3.1. So there we are. We've managed to install an old version of Windows on a modern piece of Android hardware. 
And if you enjoyed this video, you'd like my, my previous video from about a year ago when I also installed Windows 3.1 on a Raspberry Pi. But that's now it for this time. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.